hello there! Now I know I'm definitely not the only person that really enjoys a good brownie. I don't know about you, but my favorite part of the brownie is the edge. So I was gonna make some brownies with this brownie mix I've got over here, but I didn't really want to waste a bunch of, of the middle part. Nobody's home to eat the rest of it, and honestly, I just I would just eat the edges. So instead, I'm going to take this brownie mix and make some brownie cookies. It's actually a pretty simple recipe, so I thought I'd share it with you. Hi, this is Sammy from the future, here to prevent you from making the same mistake as past Sammy did. Make sure before you do any of this to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. To start, we're going to put our brownie mix in our bowl. Now we've got our brownie mix in here, so next we're going to add one third cup of oil. Next ingredient is one singular egg. Alright, last ingredient is two tablespoons of water. One. Now that we have all our ingredients in the bowl, we're going to mix it up. Rather than being kind of like batter, like it would be if you were just making brownies, clearly it's going to be more like a dough. Now we're going to set aside this dough, and we're going to butter our cookie sheet. Now, I'm going to be using a pizza pan, because I don't know where my cookie sheets went. Blip, 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 blip. Alright, I think that's buttered enough. We're going to take little balls about this big, stick them around there. So I have quite a bit of extra dough, so I think I'm going to save it for tomorrow because I'm going to be having some friends over to watch some movies. And I think these would make a really good snack. Now we're going to stick these in the oven for 9 to 10 minutes. If you want them to be more like brownies, you're going to want to put them in for about 8 to 9 minutes. And then take them out and let them sit on the pan for about 20 minutes to cool. And while they're sitting on the hot pan, they'll continue to bake. Otherwise, you can just bake them for 9 to 10 minutes, let them cool a bit and then take them straight off and put them on the cooling rack. So I've got three of my cookies right here. The rest are over there cooling off. It is in my personal opinion that a brownie is not complete unless you put powdered sugar on it. So that's what we're going to do now. And now finally the most important step, taste testing. They're good! Anyway, that's it for this video. If you try to make this at home, let me know how it goes. If you want to, you can tweet me a picture of it. My Twitter is at Waffleine. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to see me bake more, and if so, what would you like to see me bake? Don't forget to subscribe and ding that little bell so you get notifications when I upload. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.